Good morning, and welcome to Thursday morning prayer at St. Mary's Episcopal Church at Dade City. We thank you for welcoming us into your home, and ask as always, if you're joining us this morning, to leave us some kind of a comment or response to let us know that you're with us so that we may pray with you and for you as you pray with us. Our morning prayer is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your tablet or iPhone. But if not, you may also join us on the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service for that was sent out earlier this morning on our Facebook page. Let us begin with morning prayer. Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Please join me as we say together this morning the Venite. The come let us sing to the Lord. Come let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm this morning is the portions of Psalm 69, 1 through 23 and 31 through 38, Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen up to my neck. I am sinking in the deep mire, and there is no firm ground for my feet. I have come into deep waters, and the torrent washes over me. I have grown weary with my crying, my throat is inflamed. My eyes have failed from looking for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. My lying foes who would destroy me are mighty. Must I then give back what I never stole? O oh God, you know my foolishness and my faults are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, 
Lord God of hosts, let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. Surely for your sake I have suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my own kindred, an alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. I humbled myself with fasting, but that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also and became a byword among them. Those who sit at the gate murmur against me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer to you. At the time you have set, O Lord, in your great mercy, O God, answer me with your unfailing help. Save me from the mire. Do not let me sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the torrents of waters wash over me, neither let the deep swallow me up. Do not let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Answer me, O Lord, for your love is kind. In your great compassion, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. Be swift and answer me, for I am in distress. Draw near to me and redeem me. Because of my enemies, deliver me. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all in your sight. Reproach has broken my heart, and it cannot be healed. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For comforters, but I could find no one. They gave me gall to eat. And when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. As for me, I am afflicted and in pain. Your help, O oh God, will lift me up on high. I will praise the name of God in song. I will proclaim his greatness with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an offering of oxen, more than bullocks with horns and hoofs. The afflicted shall see and be glad. You who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord listens to the needy, and his prisoners he does not despise. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and all that moves in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall live there and have it in possession. The children of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell within. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this morning comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 22. Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness, and his upper rooms by injustice, who makes his neighbors work for nothing, and does not give them their wages, who says, I will build myself a spacious house with large upper rooms, and who cut out windows for it, paneling it with cedar, and painting it with vermilion. Are you a king because you compete in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink and do justice and righteousness? Then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and the needy. Then it was well. Is not this to know me, says the Lord? 
but your eyes and heart are only on your dishonest gain, for shedding innocent blood, and for practicing oppression and violence. Therefore, thus says the Lord, considering King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, my brother, or alas, sister. They shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, Lord, or alas, his majesty. With the burial of a donkey he shall be buried, dragged off and thrown out beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry out, and lift up your voice in Bashan. Cry out from Abarim, and for all your lovers are crushed. I spoke to you in your prosperity, but you said, I will not listen. This has been your way from your youth, for you have not obeyed my voice. The wind shall shepherd all your shepherds, and your lovers shall go into captivity. Then you will be ashamed and dismayed because of all your wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, nested among the cedars, how will you groan when pangs come upon you, pain as of a woman in labor? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say together canticle number eight, the song of Moses, and we will say this together. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading this morning is from the book of Romans, chapter 8. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If in fact we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, 
but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now say together Canticle number 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O king of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord? and sing the praises of your name, for you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading this morning comes from the book of John, chapter 6. Then the Jews began to complain about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, do not complain among yourselves. No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now reaffirm our confession of faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, and we will say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon our earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning in the world cycle of prayer, we pray for the people of Equatorial Guinea. And in the ecumenical cycle of prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the Shiloh Youth Revival Centers. O oh God, the King Eternal, who divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace that having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Gracious God, we lift up to you all medical professionals and personnel, all of those doctors and nurses and staff, that are working overtime to help cure those sick of the coronavirus and bring comfort to those who are ailing, especially those associated with this parish, Nancy, Wendy, Carol, Susan, Sarah Lynn, Betsy, Claire, Lisa, and Elaine. We pray for all of our teachers, administrators, and staff, all of those teaching in places around the world, that they may have their fear and anxiety taken away as they learn new ways to teach and help students learn new ways to learn. Gracious God, we lift up to you our military and National Guard and all first responders at home and abroad, that you may keep them in your care and concern. Gracious God, we lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those with urgent need, Emmett Evans, Greg Goody, Brooke, Karen Phillips, Dara Morgan, Alyssa Pumo, Lynn Ashford, Cecil McGavern, Kelly Teets, David Teets, John Harrison, Perry Kane, Kelly Oakley, Sue Ann Verzel, Brian Stevens, Kathy Jeffrey, Barbara Jones, 
and the Reverend Richard Brent and Richard Bingham. Gracious God, we pray for all of those who are recovering from surgeries. Kathy Stoko, Barbara Barber, Tom Serba, Mimi Cass-Clark, Lori Hildebrandt, Perry Kane. And we pray for those preparing for surgery, Norma Berenci and Mary Teschner. Gracious God, we lift up to you all of those on our ongoing prayer list. Vicki, Stephen, Bebe, Mark, Cecil, Melvin, Mason, Nancy Ray and Katie Harrell, Allison and family, Jerry and Diane Rice, Dave and Marge Moffat, Terry and Denise McKenzie, Tom and Sue Serba, Leon and Betty Milton, Don and Suzanne Webb, Jim and Janice Tabb, Rini and Bill Jordan, Terry and Ralph Roberto. And gracious God, this day I lift up to you St. Mary's Episcopal Church and all of its people and ask that you continue to pour your abundant blessings upon us. I pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, Jessica, Kate, and Hannah. I pray for Sue and Kelly, Becky and Mike and David, for David and John, for Alexa and Lauren, for Enid and Jan. I lift up to you Bob and Dee and Adam, Haley, Morgan, and Emma, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Ryan, and Jamie. Are there others? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth, and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care in keeping all the men and women of our armed forces, National Guard, and first responders at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us fellow workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence, so to use the resources of nature, that no one may suffer from our abuse of them, and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now say together, particularly in these trying times, the prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon where there is discord, union, where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Gracious God, uh, we thank you for bringing us together today, and I thank you for inviting us at St. Mary's into your living room or your home this morning so that you might pray with us and we might pray together to lift up our God in glory. I want to remind you that we do have our services on Sunday at 745 and 10 o'clock, and we invite you to join us for those services. We still have room available with COVID distancing restrictions, but if for whatever reason you do not feel safe in coming and being around people at this time, perhaps waiting on a vaccination or just don't feel comfortable with your own situation, then we invite you to uh, join us on our service by live stream. We live stream the 10 o'clock service on Sunday morning right here live on our Facebook page. We are continuing our Lenten program tonight. That will be at 6 o'clock, followed by Compline at 7. And I hope that you will all join us. If you would like a link to that uh, Lenten program and you don't have one yet, you may email me at Father Jim, spelled out, F-A-T-H-E-R-J-I-M at S-T-M-D-C. Dot com and just type in the subject line, request Linton program link, and I will send that link to you. My brothers and sisters, as you shelter in place at home and keep yourself safe, take care of yourselves, give yourself time to yourself, enjoy your time with God, reach out to those you love, you might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you all of God's best. God bless and good morning.